How's it going guys? My name is TJP and welcome to our first NHL 24 franchise rebuilding challenge. Now you guys know I've done NHL a couple times and some people like them, some people don't the way I do them, but we're going to be changing around a little bit this year. Uh, so start off, we're doing the Columbus Blue Jackets. We're going to go east, west, alternate, then the playoffs based on seedings when they got eliminated all the way up to the last team. We're doing all 32 teams and we don't need to rebuild, okay? So I know people are going to say in the comments... And it's all going to be in the description. Every single video, same description. Of the rules, how we're doing it, every single team is going to be done the same, no matter what. So, I'm thinking four seasons. I, I know I've been doing NFL 5, MLB, I think I did. Did I do 5 for MLB? I think I did. NBA 5. Uh, I'm doing only three for, for, for soccer, but I think for any shot, I'm going to only do four. Uh, but I do give myself an extra season, uh, which, is, which is good. So... We'll see if we try to win some Stanley Cups. Uh, four seasons, injuries are on. Everything is pretty much on for the most part. The only thing that's off are those uh, morale meetings because I can't stand those. Uh, so those are really annoying. Uh, but yeah, injuries are on. And I'm going to mispronounce some names. Just know that. And it is not meant to be realistic. So do not expect a realistic rebuild. Again, it's a video game at the end of the day. Do not take these seriously. You know, that it, it, we're just here to have fun. So... Uh, leave a like, subscribe, and join the content, comment all those videos, go to socials, play the second channel, main channel down in the description. If you like the content, be DJP. With that being said, let's go on to the game. All right, so I'm going to go quickly through the roster we've got here. So obviously our star player, Johnny Goudreau, he's got our guy. we got Patrick Laine as well. A couple wingers here, got uh, Red Skier, left defense. Uh, David Severson, right defense. I've so got Provorov, uh, Kent Johnson, young guy, 20 years old. Uh, Ross Levitch is here. We've got Boone Jenner, Jake Bean. Uh, we got Adam Bovquist, uh, Marchenko, uh, Alexandra, uh, Peak, uh, Karali. We got Bemstrom, uh, Robinson, uh, Chinnikov, Bjork, like the singer. I'm pretty sure it's Bjork, right? Like the singer. Uh, Olivier, uh, Cylinder, and that is all she wrote. That's our, that's our, uh, you know, Blue Jacket roster on the NHL. We'll take a look at the lines. Uh, curious to see if there's any moves we want to make, but let's view these lines really quickly and see what we've got. Well, let's take a look at our picks as well. Uh, why is it... Oh, wait, no, that's not where I want to go. I want to go to edit lines, not view lines. There we go. Let's see the lines here and see how the chemistry is looking. So, edit line strategy. Could coach now? Yes, you are the head coach. So obviously, you're going to be doing what you need to be doing. But I'll also make adjustments if I need to. So our top line looks pretty good. Top two lines look pretty good, uh, which is not too bad. Uh, I actually kind of like the design a little bit. I like the dark color scheme uh, a little bit better than the white. I wonder if you can change that, though. Uh, I, do, I do think the, the the pink the pink is a little bit uh, I, throwing me off a little bit. There's your offensive lines. We, yeah, we could try to get some work on these bottom lines here. Uh, but... I mean, it's not too big of a priority right now. I mean, defensively, uh, looks pretty good as well uh, with uh, Rensky, Severson, top line. Our bottom line on the on the defense could be better. Uh, we could just do a quick swap here and just have minus one, minus one. Do I want to do that rather than like a horrible three line? tough to say but i think yeah i think we'll do that for now unless we want to try to get a different uh position let's look at our goalies uh, didn't show you guys that yeah mers lincoln's and then tarasov so those are your two goalies that we've got uh which is not too bad got some guys uh yeah bjork stillinger scratched our extra lines here we only looked all at all that but I do like our top lines. I do think we could maybe get um, another forward. I mean, I don't know if I need Olivier. We could probably get a better right winger. Uh, you know, Trina comes young, so I mean, that's the potential with him. Let's look at our defense, and yeah, like I said, if I can maybe just get somebody that fits a little bit better to bolster up the line cam, I wouldn't be too mad about that. I'll look around. I'll see what we have in terms of trades. So, let's see here. We're going to propose trade. We'll look at the pick situation. Got a little bit of money to play around with. Uh, contracts. We have enough space. Uh, let's see here. Yes, player trade value. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you very much, EA. All right. Uh, what kind of draft pick situation we got? So, we have a couple third rounders. We have our first round. We're not going to trade that, though. Definitely don't want to trade any first. 
I wouldn't even mind trying to acquire more picks at some point. Uh, so we have an extra 7th rounder, 2025, I believe that was, from the Vegas Golden Knights. So most part, we have a lot of our picks, which is good. Uh, so I'm going to look around, see if there's anything that we'd want to do. Maybe we could upgrade a forward spot or maybe get another defenseman that's just a little bit better for our team. Also, we could call up Jurchak. I mean, that uh, that is another thing. Uh I mean, he's here in Cleveland. The Cleveland Monsters, 19 years old, 81. He'll definitely be a, he'll definitely be in the NHL at some point in this video. If not this, se you know, not by the mid-season point, he'll definitely be in by next year for sure. Because I want to keep him around, and he'll probably end up being the defenseman anyway. So I'll probably just look for a winger. I think that's what I'm prioritizing. All right, I'm trying to see if I can trade for Thomasino from the Predators. Um, I might throw in another pick here, low pick, um, and then we get a sixth rounder this year as well. Uh, I'm thinking we could throw in maybe we could throw in a Vegas Golden Knight seventh. I, I think that might get the job done. It does. All right. So, Tomasino, welcome to the squad. We appreciate that. I mean, okay, a couple guys did not like the fact that we traded away uh, Matthew, but that's fine. Uh, not a problem. They'll get over it. And I mean, it's a bit of a talent upgrade, I'd say. So, Tomasino, small upgrade, but nothing too crazy. Uh, is that our? best amount of chem that we can get looks like it is so we'll keep it as is i think that's good for now i'm going to simulate i guess to the middle of the season something around there uh lines of there and yeah we'll take a look here when and when would the when would the break be uh we could go to probably about around here january the end of january i mean if there's something that happens before then in terms of moves i mean the trade deadline's a few weeks out a couple you know a few weeks after that a month or so a month and a half i uh, you know we can kind of assess then if we want to make another trade but i think for now let's just see how this team does i don't expect this to be too great but you never know let's simulate and see what happens all right so we're right around where i wanted to stop simulating and you know we're sitting at a decent spot 26 21 and 3 i mean 55 points that's better than i would have expected uh, but if we look around the rest of the league, uh, it's not too bad. Uh, just looking at the, you know, the Atlantic, 55 points would put us in third. So, I mean, we're right there. Tied with the Islanders fourth. I mean, we're not too far away from the Hurricanes. We're also not too far away from the Penguins, though. So, uh, we could make a move. But let's look at the stats. See what we have here going on. So, there's the big man, Joni Gaudreau. Johnny Godro. I don't know what I just said. I think, did I just say Joni? I think I just said Joni by accident. Anyways, he's got 54 points right now to lead the team. He's got 19 goals. Uh, looks like Lion is leading the team in goals with 28. Uh, we can sort it by that. And he is. He's got 28. 19 uh, from Johnny. Boone's got 15. Zach rinsky has got 12. Uh, which is pretty good. In terms of assists, who's passing? Who's passing the puck a lot? It is Mr. Johnny with 35. 24 from Boone, uh, 22 from Line A, which makes sense. Jefferson and Johnson, 22 apiece. Rossovich down there has got 20. Uh, obviously, in terms of total points, you saw there. Johnny Gordrow has got 54. Line A's got 51. And how are we looking on the hits? Uh, let's see who's leading the team in hits. 103 from Boone Jenner. 103. Uh, Zach Redsky, 87, so he's pretty physical out there. 82 from Damon Severson, 72 from uh, David Richter, who got called up. Got called up. Beautiful. Love that. Uh, Brovero, 68. Our block shots, of course. We've got Severson with 73, 64 from Zach Redsky. Provorov, 59, 57 from David Jurczyk. Beans got 54. Our giveaways, uh, I don't want to be leading that. Uh, 42 giveaways for Severson. Jurczyk's at 30, 36 from Wrensky. 55 from Rossovich. Okay. Bemstrom, he's got 34. Yeah, 34. I just want to make sure I was reading the right line. And you got your takeaways at 90 from Johnny Gaudreau. 37 from Jenner. 36 from uh, Tixier. Uh, how many fights we got? Who's, who's, who's physical? We got five fights. Uh, we don't need to show the fights, but sometimes we do. We like to sh see those. So overall, not too bad. Let's look at the goalies. How we do on the goalie side? Um, there's Lincoln's. 3.32 3 goals against the average, 18-8 and 18-1. Uh, 89.5 save percentage, but Tarasov's been really good. 2.89. He's been pretty solid. You have 8-3-2. 2.89 goals against the average, so take it. Uh, 
so we can look at how our team stats just to double check here how we're looking in terms of goals for goals against in terms of just the eastern conference right now we are I don't, oh actually no not no let's look at the entire league so in terms of goals for per game i don't know where we would rank where are we there we are six so offensively we're looking pretty solid defensively mm, not so much yeah not so much we are 12th in the entire league though in general so it's pretty good uh do we want to make any moves maybe 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 we'll take a look at the lines again i'm gonna look and see if there's anybody that we could possibly trade for uh being obviously want to improve the defense uh we could also mess around with the coaching strategies if we really want to but uh i'll look around and i'll come back to you guys once i have a couple answers uh and some you know thoughts that i'm thinking of here let's keep even strength yeah defensively uh do we want to put i want to put dura check there yeah i mean if we can maybe get a different different defensemen perhaps but honestly i mean your peak's fine but i don't know maybe there's somebody we get i'll be look I'll, I'll see i'll take a look at the strategies see if we can maybe change those up a little better maybe you know some of the coaching strategies and player strategies etc so let me let me look maybe there's a move out there too an upgrade that we could do maybe try to get some more picks that's another thing all right and i was expecting us not to make the playoffs this season and we somehow slipped in uh, couldn't make another trade. I was trying to make a trade at the deadline, but it looked like we just had too many injuries. Not a problem, though. I mean, I'll take it. First season, and I made the playoffs. I mean, I can't be mad at that. Now, I don't think we're going to beat the Lightning, who we're taking on currently, but let's look at the stats here. Uh, we'll look at the play, uh, not the playoff stats, but I'm going to look at the regular season stats. We'll also look at the tree. Uh, Patrick Line led the team in uh, points. Total points, 79. Six time from Johnny. 66 from uh, Boone, 60 from Johnson, 52 from Rinsky, 45 from Rossbridge, Severson, 43. So yeah, Johnny led the team in assists, 47, 44 from Johnson, 40 from Boone, Severson with 39, 36 from Rinsky, line ahead, 33, 31 from Roslovich, uh, Provorov, 29, which is pretty nice. Uh, excited to see, yeah, Jurichek. Uh, play more games. Um, yeah, there's a lot of like really interesting young talent on the team. So we'll see what ends up happening with them. Yeah, line had 46 goals. That's pretty impressive. 26 from Jenner, 22 from Godreau, which is nice to see. Uh, you can see the power play points. Uh, who had the most power play points? Yep. The guy you'd expect with the most points in the team has the most power play points. How are the hits block shots giveaways takeaways looking well hits you can see we had six guys at least uh 100 hits a game block shots we had uh all of our defensemen Dorinsky, severson provorov getting at least 100 uh block shots giveaways your takeaways leaders 123 from good row it's pretty cool obviously you saw the fights things of that nature so overall the team played solid how are our goalies if we look here uh, Mers Lincolns, he was eh, 3.15 goals against average. And then Tarasov, 3.04 goals against average. Yeah, I mean, I feel like our defense wasn't too great, but I, we scored a lot of points, which was great. I feel like our offense was pretty solid, and that's what got us the W. As you can see, the entire league, the best team with the Rangers, 108 points total. Uh, they score, who scored the most points per game? Probably the, uh, it was the Sabres. 3.77 goals, four per game. Now we happened to be right in this uh top half of the league 3.21 now we were 3.20 goals against so as you can see not the best but uh definitely not the worst but could have been better we'll see how that happens how that works in the playoffs though against the lightning to me might might be a tough matchup yeah i was going to see the playoff tree really quickly there it is we're in the bottom right corner okay i'm not my face cam's not blocking entirely which is perfect so we are going to go game by game here um, I don't know how to do, like, if it's close to hop on in. Uh, so I'll have to figure that out, because I want to do that in NHL, but I'm not really sure of the methodology of doing said thing. So we'll have, just have to take a look here and see uh, at some point. If we can get to the Stanley Cup. I'll only do it for the Stanley Cup. So, all right. Well, either way, we got the Lightning first game, so we'll just, uh, you know, go game by game here. Maybe if it's close, we'll do, like, a, a Sam, you know, that I know. So, yeah, game one. 
is going to be a 2-1 victory. Okay, like the start. Game 2. And we are up 2-0. Good start. Alright, so we're up 2-0 against the Lightning. Game 3 is an OT loss. Okay. Of course, Game 4 is an OT win. So we're up 3-1. We could win it here in 5 and advance to the second round. And we're going to do that. Alright. Okay. I mean, I'm not mad. I'm not mad at all. So let's see who we're going to be taking on here in the second round. And it is going to be the Toronto Maple Leafs. So Maple Leafs coming out of a seven game series. I uh, don't know who they played, but it looks like they, oh, they, no, they played the, uh, they played the Sabres, I guess. So the Sabres were pretty good, but yeah, Maple Leafs beat them. So we're in the second round here. So let's see how we can fare against the Toronto Maple Leafs. Mr. Austin Matthews, we beat him in game one. Um, I'm kind of surprised that we're here right now. Okay, game two against the Maple Leafs is a OT loss. That's tough to see. Game three, we are up 2-1. Can we go up 3-1? We cannot. Okay. Game five, big one right here. I'd like to go up 3-2. We don't. Okay. All of our losses have been by one. One goal, by the way. Shout out to uh, EA for that. Game six, eh, we could we could sim up to the day. Um, we could sim the game. There is, a, isn't there a way you can hop on in uh, the super sim? Is it sim game? Uh, yeah, there we go. This is, a, this is what I want. I guess we can watch this. Uh, we'll sim the period, but we're gonna do. We're gonna do. Yeah, this is fine. We'll do the times eight. Is that our fastest one? Yeah, we'll go times eight. We'll watch. Why not? Uh, Brody's gonna get a goal. So Toronto's up one zero. We're gonna keep going and see what happens here. Five and four power play. Can we convert? We cannot. Okay, we got more shots than they do, but they've got a goal. And end of the first period, they get another goal. Giordano. So we're about to lose. 2-0. 2-0. Uh, period sim is complete. And, oh, didn't mean to. Okay, well, Bertuzzi makes it 3-0, and then Lina got a goal. Make it 3-1. Honestly, it's just finished the game. And we lose 3-1. So, there you go. I mean, six-game series, uh... The second round in our first season, that's pretty good. Wasn't expecting that. Thought we were going to miss the playoffs. So, I mean, I'll take it. Uh, we got some free agency. Got draft coming up. So, we'll see who ends up winning the Stanley Cup. Look at some of the awards at the end of the season. And then go on to the offseason to try to make some improvements to the team. All right. So, the boys in Edmonton are the Stanley Cup champions. Very nice. I'm trying to stop simulating so we can take a look at some of these awards here. So, let's see. Stanley Cup. Oh, yeah. Did we see the playoff stats? We could show those as well. Might as well. I didn't show you guys playoff stats. We'll show that now, how we did. Uh, so, yeah, the Oilers. We've got the Rangers President's Trophy, Clarence's Campbell Trophy, and the Prince of Wales. So, the Islanders got out of the East. Okay. Uh, individual awards. The homie, Nate, Nate, uh, I just said Nate McMillan. <sighs> McKinnon. Getting the uh, Art Ross Trophy. Skinner's going to get the Hart Memorial Trophy. Uh, most valuable for the team. Nice. James Norris Memorial Trophy to uh, Kale Maker. is uh, going to get the Lady Bing uh, Bedard Calder Memorial Trophy. Con Smith Trophy goes to Hopkins. Skinner from the Oilers going to get the Vizina Trophy. Laner's going to get the Drennings Trophy. Shen's going to get the Memorial Trophy. And then, yeah, goes to Eric, et cetera. Oh, yeah. Riley, oh, O'Reilly, Skinner. And then Ovechkin, Maurice Richard. Most goals. He's still scoring goals, man. Shout out to Ovechkin. And you guys can see the player uh, playoff stats here if you want to quickly glance at how we did in the playoffs. Uh, it's not going to show it. Oh, yeah, player stats. Uh, think I, do I usually show these? I don't remember if I did, but I'm going to show them now. In case you guys are curious, just we'll take a quick glance at them if you guys want to look. I mean, overall, not too bad on the, you know, goals, assists, points, part. And then, of course, we can look at the hits, block shots, giveaways, takeaways. Uh, right over here, some of our leaders there. 
uh, Jen or Provorov. You guys can slow this down. I'm not going to look too much into it, but I do think we want to improve a little bit of the talent. I'll try to get some guys that maybe fit the lines a little bit better, maybe some more veteran talent uh, to mix in some of our youth. So we'll see what's out there in free agency. We'll also try to draft a couple of really good guys. We have our first round pick, so we'll see who's out there in the market uh, in that department too. And uh, a couple guys we could try to take here. I don't know if they're ever going to really see the light of day in the NHL. Uh, Taylor Diets, we could get him. Or Diets. It could be Diets. I mean, I'd say Diets, but, you know, again. Uh, we could go with him. We could go with uh, Zane Smith. Uh, Branzig uh, Nygaard. Hopefully I'm saying that right. I'm not Norwegian. Uh, we could get another Juracek. Get hit another juror check if we really wanted to. I think we'll go with uh, Tay Tay center. So that'll be our first round pick uh, with the Blue Jacks. I mean, the draft doesn't look too great. Obviously, there's no Connor Bedard. You know, he used to be like the guy you want to trade for because he's just so good, but his draft was a bit weaker. Actually, the fact that he slipped that far down is uh, pretty impressive. For He's a 77 overall. There's no way that that's right. That's pretty insane that we just got a 77 overall at pick 19. That's that's insane. I'll take that. That's that's a really good pick for us. All right, if that's if that's the case, he's a 77. I'll take it. All right, I'm gonna do the rest of the picks off camera, and I'll show you guys the, the other picks here in case you guys are curious. Um, nothing too crazy there, but we're gonna have uh, the it's gonna player re-signings. Uh, we'll see who want to keep on the squad, and then uh, we'll go on from there. Some expiring contracts we want to renew, and who we want to give uh, qualifiers to. So we'll do all that, and then we'll head on free agency and see who can pick up. All right, so I did renew my contract with Jack Rosovich. I did offer a bunch of other guys some, you know, contracts as well. We qualified a bunch of guys, so we'll see if we can keep them around. A lot of those guys probably end up being qualified or gonna, you know want to test which is fine if they want to test but at least we'll have them you know kind of under as you can see we're getting a bunch of guys here so we're just gonna have a free agency if there's guys that didn't accept their qualifier we try to offer them free agency to get them back but uh, we can always just uh hold off a little bit so i'll go to free agency see who's out there try to add some talent to the team all right so first pick i'm gonna make here is jason zucker one of the another left winger and i think that'll be a nice uh, veteran left winger to have on the team we also play some right winger too so that's helpful for us there um, unfortunately, I offered Oscar Limbron. We didn't get him. Would have liked to have gotten another left winger, but I'm going to keep looking because I do need another winger, so I'm going to try to see if I can get one more guy on the squad. All right, I'm going to pick up Josh Bailey here. One-year contract, $2.7 million. Can play both winger spots. Again, some winger depth there, and he's a nice veteran presence to have on the team. And I did re end up re-signing Ken Johnson. Gave him two years, five and a half million. Uh, he was on a qualifier, but I decided let's just try to pick him up and uh, give him a little contract now. So that's exactly what I did. We're going to take a look at the team for the second season right now. So if we take a look at the roster, uh, it, it's pretty interesting. I mean, we still got, uh, you know, we still got Johnny Godreau, uh Patrick Laine, obviously. Renski is an 88. Ken Johnson, big jump. 21 years old, 80 overall. He's gonna be really good. Love it. Boone Jenner, he's, be, he's here at 80. We got Severson still, Provorov, Chinnikov, uh, Bokvist, uh, Jake Bean, uh, Jack and Boy, Jack Roslovich. We signed. We got Jason Zucker. We picked up. Uh, Texier, uh, Jurchek. Uh, we've got Bailey, uh, Corrali, uh, Tomasino, Peak, uh, Fowdy, Bemstrom. That's your guys. I mean, everybody's above an 80. And then we got our goalies as well. Uh, still, Mirrors Lake gets in Tarasov. So, pretty solid. Uh, we'll see what ends up happening this season. I mean, I'll take sure you guys take uh, my lines. I did make a couple of changes in terms of my lines. Uh, I switched Bailey and Tomasino. The reason I did that was because we get extra chem there. I could possibly put Chinnikov in there, too. But it then doesn't work. Unless I put... Uh, can I do something like this? No. Yeah, no. I'll just keep Chinnikov, yeah, there. And then we'll keep have Tomasino be there. Uh, which is fine. This is definitely our highest. 
and I think our most chem efficient lineup. So keep it as that. Defensively, it's a bit weaker. Now I could maybe do like a quick swap here or a quick substitution. Like if I put in Juracek, who might be a little bit better than Peak, I would think I'd rather give him the minutes. So we'll let him, you know, do his thing. I could also put him top there, but it doesn't really help us too much. Yeah, the lines are a bit, uh, like I said, a bit wonky. I'd have to do some crazy maneuvering. So yeah, we're just gonna keep it as is. The chemistry's not too great on those two defensive lines. So we'll try to have, we'll have to at some point try to fix that up. I don't know if there's any trades I want to make right now. Uh, we could try to propose trade. I want to get maybe some more picks. I mean, that's an option as well. Uh, we got a couple guys that, you know, we can move that are expiring. Uh, so we'll look around. Um, I think closer to the deadline, maybe if we want to move Rosovich or Provorov. Uh, I mean, those are options. Uh, Bogovic we can move to. Uh, so we'll look. We'll definitely look and see uh, once we get closer to that uh, trade. I don't know if there's anybody that we want to move that we just don't think is has a spot on our squad. And we'll try to go on from there. And maybe, uh, maybe make the playoffs again. That'd be nice. All right, we're sitting at 27. You know, I don't know why we don't have any. We don't have any shootout wins or shootout losses, OT losses, nothing like that. I mean, how are we 2017 and 0? I mean. We gotta get some. We gotta get some. We gotta turn some of these losses into overtime losses or shootout losses. That way, get some extra points, at least for losing. But um, we're at 40 points right now, so we'll look around and see what's happening in the league. Maybe some guys we can possibly get. Uh, but Johnny Audro is leading the team in points uh, with 33 right now. Uh, he's got 24 assists, which is most likely leading the squad. It is. I see 18 goals from Jason Zucker, which is uh, pretty good. Uh, Lion's got 11, 9 from Johnny. Ken Johnson with 8. Uh, Thanks, Yay, with 8. Uh, Tomasino has got 7. In terms of our power play points, uh, Johnny Gaudreau's got 10, 9 from Zucker, 8 from Jenner, 6 from Bailey. And how are our hits looking? So right now with hits, we got 80 from Boone. Jefferson's got 54, same thing with Jack Rosovich, 53 from Provorov, Zucker with 52, Johnson with 48, as well as Crawley. Block shots, 52 from Marensky. Uh, Bokovic's got 43, 41 from Severson and Bean, 37 from Provorov, Peak with 36. That's your giveaways, your takeaways, uh, which are pretty good. All right, how are the goalies looking this season? So goalies, uh, there's Lincoln's 2.81 goals against average. That's decent for 17-14. Then 2.68 from Tarasov. It's not too bad. Um, all right. And then you look at team stats. Our scoring. In terms of, let's look at the entire league. What are we looking at? What is it sorted on? I don't know what it's sorted on. Is this points? What is it sorted on? It is sorted on points. Okay, 40. Uh, 2.73 goals for per game. So that's third lowest. Goals against is at 2.84. So this year, our defense has been better, but our offense has been kind of bad. So I'm going to take a double look at the lines and see if there's maybe a couple of positions that we could maybe upgrade. Also, we've had some injuries up and down. And, you know, the season. So that's part of the reason why we've been a little bit iffy on the offensive side. You know, a couple guys in and out of the lineup, like I said. So I do think we can maybe get a couple of forwards for the bottom line. As you can see, yeah, we no, no Kent. No Kent Johnson. Where is he, man? You know, like, I, I don't know. He's obviously gone because he's hurt. So uh, let's try to see if we can inquire maybe uh, – a good forward for our team. Let's let's look at the market and see who's out there. Just try to boost our squad up. Maybe we'll get Ken Johnson back. That should totally help us out. I'm trying to see if we can acquire uh, Carlson from the Vegas Golden Knights. Will they do this trade? They won't. Uh, but what if I threw on another pick here? I don't want to throw in too many picks. Um, again, we have four seasons. So, I mean, I don't need all these, like, all the picks. But, you know, maybe we try to make, like, a really, really big trade at some point down the road. 
we can. I'll throw a third round pick in 2030. Uh, that doesn't get the job done. I mean, if you want to, th I'll throw in one more pick. And if that doesn't get the job done, then I don't know what will. But this should be good. We'll throw in another third rounder. Will that get the job done? That looks like it'll get the job done, and it will. I probably could have got a sixth rounder in there for us, but we'll take on uh, we'll take on uh, our squad there. I think that's gonna help out our offense a little bit. I will take a look at the lines. I mean, we got a quality player. William Carlson is a quality player indeed. He's going to boost her up to Ken. Once we get Ken Johnson back, Boone's going to slot down. Uh, we could do something like this, possibly. But I'm not going to do that. Corrali could be our guy. Now, I would have Jenner, and then we'll have Carlson. And then once Ken Johnson hopefully comes back, yeah, we should be be golden so let's see what happens we'll see the rest of the season so the team does in our second year try to get back to the playoffs and uh pathetic season 36 39 and 7 part of it was injuries had a lot of guys in and out of lineup so not really much we could do about that but did not make the playoffs interesting very interesting okay yeah i mean a lot of guys as you saw getting hurt doesn't really help we went on some massive losing streaks so we were pretty bad. So we'll have a good pick, but definitely a bit of a disappointment because now we only we got two seasons left. So all the urgency is a little bit more important. Now let's let's see here the stats. Where do I want to go here? So you see Johnny Gaudreau, 73 points, lead the team. And yeah, I mean, again, a lot of our top guys didn't miss too many games. Uh, Ken Johnson into playing 78 games. So, you know, he was in and out of lineup, but we had a few guys that missed some games. Severson missed a bunch of games. He's been scratched. So, not, nothing too crazy. Fought. He missed a lot of games, but maybe it's because he was kind of just scratched. I mean, Juracek didn't play too much this season either. Uh, I mean, you can see 50, how many points? Uh, 49 assists from uh, Johnny to lead the team. 44 from Jenner, 43 from Renski, your top three assist leaders. Godro also had uh, 24 goals, but 31 from Zucker to lead the team. 30 from Line A, 19 from Johnson, 16 from Texier. Let's go over here to our hits. We had a lot of guys with hits, eight guys in triple digits, our block shots, three guys with at least a block shot, uh, at least 100 block shots. Giveaway leaders, 94 from Peak, 70 from Wrensky, Buckquist had 60, 64 from Jenner, 4 row, 63, 56 from Johnson, Severson. After him, takeaways, 133 from Jenner to lead the team, 98 from Johnson, Line had 85, 76 from Godreau. How are goalies looking? Uh, there's Lincoln's, he was, there's Lincoln's was, you know, not too amazing, and Tarasov, I think we want to upgrade the goalies in the off season. So we'll try to get like a really good goalie. I mean, there's Lincoln's gonna be a backup. I think that's probably better. We'll try to get like a really good goalie out there. We'll take a look at free agency and see who's gonna be out there in the market. But I think for now, we're gonna try to trade for one too. That's another option. I think for now, yeah, definitely a bit of a disappointing season, but let's see what ends up happening uh, in the postseason. Let's see who wins the Stanley Cup and then go on to the awards and then we'll see what happens in the draft with our high pick. Hopefully win the lottery. That'd be great. And then go on from there. So the Rangers won the Stanley Cup. Good for the Rangers. Uh, we're going to take a look here and stop simulating uh, and head on to the offseason. Before we do that, though, let's look at the Rangers and, well, the rest of the awards. So obviously the Rangers, they the President's Trophy winner last year. This year they're the Stanley Cup winner. President's Trophy is Tampa Bay Lightning. Uh, the Gable Bowl goes to the Ducks. And Rangers get the Prince of Wales Trophy. So they beat the Ducks. Individual wars. Uh, Kucherov winning both the Art Ross and Hart Memorial. Uh, Hedvin getting the James Norris. Lady Bing's going to Marner. Casper getting the Calder Memorial. Uh, Mika Zibanejad getting the Consmet. Abzina uh, goes to Samsonov. Uh, Georgiev, Larson, and yeah. Okay. Oh, then we got Kopitar. And Kucherov again with 10 Lindsay. And then Austin Matthews, the Mo Richard, the Maurice Richard Trophy. Scoring the most goals. All right, let's go on in the offseason. <coughs> All right, we have the eighth pick. Cool. So we didn't drop in the draft. We didn't move up. Not a problem. 
So we're gonna head on to the draft. I guess that is what is next. So we'll sim to that point and see who's there with the epic. All right, I traded up to get pick five with the Sharks. I traded a future first, our second round pick this year, and a future third round pick. So now we have uh, two top 10 picks, two up top eight picks. Uh, so we're just trying to get some young guys. So we'll sim to our pick, uh, pick five and eight. We'll show you guys what that's looking like. <clears throat> so we'll go to pick five. I tried to trade up to get the number one overall pick. Couldn't get it. Would have liked to got McKella. Because I knew he was going to be really good. Would have helped us out right away. But unfortunately, couldn't get the job done. Maybe I could have done pick five, pick eight. Did a package deal. But I should go like a Jordan Gavin. We could pick him up. Uh, wouldn't be too mad about that. So yeah, Jordan Gavin. The Americans. A.K.A. the Canadians. And I feel like, uh, I mean, that's a pretty solid pick. So I'll, I'll take it. And I think we're going to sim to our next pick here. Pick eight. And see who's out there in the market. Um, ooh, Jonasu, 82 overall. So, missed out on him. Uh, we want to take a risk here. We could go with another. We can go with Porter Martone, right winger. Out of Canada. For uh, Mississauga. The Steelheads. I think we'll do that. I mean, we just drafted a center. Uh, we don't. I don't. I'm not gonna take Benak. So yeah, we'll take Martone. Uh, yeah, I mean nothing crazy. Just a young guy. So all right, I'll see you guys at the end of the draft. Because I don't think we have any other picks really. So yeah, I'll see you guys at the end of the draft. All right, so. You saw our top guys, I and mean, just the rest of the guys we drafted. I mean, nothing too crazy there. Uh, so we're going to head on to player re-signings, show you guys who we qualify. We're going to do a qualifier. We're going to try to get some guys back on the team. Maybe we'll have a little bit of money to play around with. Definitely want to get a better goalie. That's the objective this offseason is to get a better goalie. So we're going to do that. All right, so a few guys here that uh, Jake being out from contract, he is not interested. Uh, we did get Provorov back on the team. We offered a bunch of our young guys qualifiers and contracts that want to join our team. So, uh, yeah, we might have to find a couple of replacements uh, in free agency, but I definitely want to get a goalie, so that's our main priority. Maybe that means we move to Merzlikens, uh, which we could do. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to head on to free agency. We'll have a decent amount of money, I think, and hopefully we get some talent on the squad. All right, I didn't sign Jake Bean. He didn't accept my contract, but we did get Tanner Pearson, just a left winger to fit one of our bottom six lines. Traded for Jake Odinger and Nils Lundqvist. Uh, we traded away Mers Lincolns uh, and two firsts and two seconds with the Stars. Uh, big trade there. Traded away Mers Lincolns. Uh, but, we, I mean, yeah, I know we traded away a quality player, but we got a star goalie in return and a, you know, good defenseman who's pre relatively young, 24 years old. So I think that helps out our team because uh, I did need that. We'll try to get some of the rest of the guys back from our qualifiers, free agency, and we'll go on from there. Urho, another left defenseman to add to our system. I don't know if he'll be on our team full-time, but he's on our squad now. And I also re-signed Liam Foudy. We got back uh, Chinikov, and I'm waiting to get back Mr. Adam, and we do. So that's it for Fritz. I'll see you guys at, uh, we got Texier. Maybe we could keep him as well. So I'll see uh, if, if we can get him back as well. If not, then maybe we'll look to move him in the uh, during the season. I feel like we should be okay, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see if we try to get him back. If not, no worries. He'll be in our system. All right, so third season. I actually like my team on paper looks pretty good um the lines look great i'm i'll just show you guys the lines you usually guys the roster but we'll just show the lines better to show the lines so yeah godro johnson and line a top lines zucker jenner tomasino we got texier carlson and chinikov uh we've got jordan with uh mill and tanner pearson i now i or pearson yeah I, I adjusted these so we get a full chem. Well, not full chem, but at least, you know, chem on all lines. So that should be helpful. 
because uh, they wanted uh, they wanted Jordan played in the second line, which makes sense from a talent perspective, but he's a better fit for the bottom line. I think it's fine. And defensively, we are pretty solid. I mean, Lenski, Adam, we got Damon, Yvon, Lunkus, and Juracek. I mean, it's not too bad from a talent perspective. In our goalies, we've got, yeah, Jake Odinger we picked up, and then Tara Sus, we are back up, so... Overall, pretty good. We'll see what happens uh, for this uh, third season. Uh, I like the squad. I don't think we need to make any trades right now, so we're just going to head on to the calendar view. I'm going to simulate. If I need to make any moves, I will let you guys know. But I like the squad. I think if we stay healthy, we have a chance to get back into playoffs and hopefully we can make a big run. That'd be awesome. So if I need to make a trade, I'll let you guys know. Otherwise, I'll probably just see you around the end of January. All right, and I mean a lot of injuries. I mean, it's just it, it, we love what we love doing is we love winning four games in a row and then losing five, or we lose three and then we drop seven rankings. But then if we only win if we win like six in a row, we only um, improve like one rank. Oh, uh, you gotta love it because then everybody just like wins, right? So we're twenty two, twenty four, and four, which isn't great. I mean, forty eight points. I mean, it's close, uh, but definitely want to buy. Definitely want to make some trades. Uh, it. it we, we gotta we gotta try to figure out a way to improve this team i don't know how we got the second round in our first season it makes no sense um because that team was not good but now we're struggling now i guess because we were healthy now this year's not so much i feel like we've had guys like kind of coming in out of the lineup carlson's just hasn't really been playing much i think we move him i mean we'll see uh but uh yeah look at the assists uh, Drew's got 39 32 from Kent uh Kent Johnson who's scratched right now Love that. Uh, Zuckerberg's got 24, 22 from Jordan, 19 from Chinnikov, Lions got 18. He's also leading the team in goals. 17, Boone Jenner, 14 from Johnny, 13 from. Oh, Johnny's also scratched. Yeah, everybody's scratched right now. Like, it's. It's hard. It's hard when everybody is getting hurt like crazy. So, what are you going to do? Uh, we look at the hits. We've got 107 hits already from Jenner, 87 from Line A, Johnson, 79, 74, piece between Renski and Zucker. Uh, block shots, we've got 72 from Renski. Uh, Boquist, he's got 69, 65 from Provorov, Zefferson, 55, 54 from Lundqvist. Giveaways, 53 from Provorov, Johnson with 41, 41 from Lundqvist, Renski's got 39, 39 from Jericek, 38 from Severson, 36 from Godreau. And then your takeaways, we've got 72 from Johnson, Rodgers got 59, 36 from Jenner, 35 from Jordan, William Carlson, 33, 31 from Zucker, 30 from Line A, 27 from Chinnikov, Thomas Cena with 25. I mean, team stats has us at goals four per game at 3.12, but we're giving up 3.22, so we got to stop giving up so many damn goals. We if we are going to improve our defense, I mean that would be ideal. So maybe we try to trade for like a really really good defenseman. Maybe that'll help us out a little bit. I mean if we view the line, we edit the lines. Uh, we'll see what we got going on over here. What head coach got? I mean again with the injuries, it's 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 a little bit tough. Um, so we can't really do too much switcheroo. Yeah, how's the defense looking? I mean, it's not great. P, can we do a quick substitution? Yeah, Johnson scratched, Godreau scratched, Rinsky scratched. Yeah, literally three of our best players are scratched. I mean, you can't make that up. Uh, we could put Severson top line, which I'm not opposed to doing. Um, I'm trying to see if we can then boost up the chem here a little bit. Doesn't really quite work that way. I think we improved the top line. They get the most ice time. Severson. Yeah, we'll go with that. I'm going to try to see if we can get a better right defenseman for our team. Just uh, instead of peak. So let's see what's out there. Right or left. Either one works. So I'm going to try to see if we can acquire another defenseman. That That's the main goal. Let's see if we can do it. All right. I'm going to try to get uh, Anderson. I'm going to try to see if I can get a 7th and 3rd round pick as well this year. If I trade away Gavin Pearson, a 1st and 2 thirds, I think they'll accept that and they will. Perfect. So we do get it somebody to help out the defense. 
of lines. Uh, so we'll just double check it to make sure that it looks. Also called up Taylor, uh, which is cool to see. Uh, let's see how the defense is looking now. I mean, it's not, it's not crazy, but I mean, it's a talent upgrade for sure. So happy with that. I understand it's going to be a free agent, but we could always try to re-sign him if we need to. All right, I'm going to simulate the rest of the year. I mean, I'm hoping that we can maybe turn it around in the second half of the season. Just got to really get everybody healthy. That's been the problem. Just been Everybody's been getting hurt. So if we could just stay healthy, we have a chance to win. I mean, uh, we did it in our first season. So let's see if we can get everybody back on the squad. All right, we're going to end up making the playoffs. 92 points, 43, 33, and 6. Uh, looks like we got everybody back. I mean, we're going to be one of the worst teams, but it's fine. I'll take it. Um... Uh, Take it on the Capitals. So, I, I'm fine with that. Not a big deal. We're in the playoffs. Second season of the video of being in the playoffs. we got third season here. we got one more year after this. Uh, maybe we can win it this year. Don't put... I'm not going to put my car, my all my eggs in one basket here to potentially win it. But you never know. So, we'll see the stats on the season. Just quick, give a quick glance at those bad boys. How they did. Uh... Yeah, Yodro missed a lot of time. Yeah, a lot of guys missed a bunch of games. I mean, a few of our guys. So hopefully we can stay healthy. Goals, uh, line of a 38, 29 from Jenner, 24 from Zucker, uh, Joy with 21, uh, Joy at 19, actually three guys at 19, Texier, uh, Carlson, 58 games. Assists, Godro with 46, 42 from Zucker, 39 from Jordan. Uh, points. In total, Line A led the team with 73. I mean, he played a very decent, you know, very good amount of games. He only missed three. Um, so that's good. Power play points, 30 from Zuck. 25 from Gondreau. 20 from Line A. A couple guys with 16. Overall, not too bad. Uh, here's your hits. We had about six, four or five guys in uh, triple digits. Same thing with the block shots. Four guys in triple digits. Uh, I guess picking up Anderson helped. I mean, that definitely bolstered up our defense for sure. And you got your giveaways and your takeaways. I don't know if I showed goalie stats at the at the midseason point. I don't think I did. Jay Godinger, 3.05 goals against average. Um, I, I would like a little bit more out of him, but uh, Tarasov as a backup is really good. 2.20, 15.41. Uh, so we were good with him as our goalie. Uh, but 43, 3, and 6 is definitely solid. I mean, that's we, we take that. It's not It's not the greatest in the world. But it's enough to be, again, a playoff team. I feel like our offense was pretty good. Uh, right? Yeah, 3.30. Goals for per game. 2.94 goals against. Ended up being pretty good. Bit. So, it bo we bolstered it. We bolstered it. Um, okay. So, let's see what happens. We've got the Capitals, I think. Yep, that is who we got. 50, 23, and 9 is what they were. Uh, were they the best team in the East? They might have been. Let's look at the playoff tree. In case you guys are curious to see it, here it is. We can show it. We don't really show it, but yeah, there they are. We're in the top right corner. You guys want to pause and take a look. Yeah, I think they were the best team in the... No, the Hurricanes were. They had 114 points. Okay, all right. Let's head on to the sim. So we're not going to do a speedy one. We're just going to sim through it, see what happens. We've got a couple games here. It's Capitals game one, sim past it. Can we get the W? We can't. Okay, we lose three to two. Game two, we lose four to three. Can we actually win a game? We can. Okay, so we win game three. Nice to even up the series here. We do win five to two. Can we go up three two? Possibly. We can. Let's win in six. That's what I like to see in a nice shutout. Poor nothing. So after going down 2-0, we win. And we're going to the second round. So not too bad. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. We got the Canadians. So Montreal coming out of a six-game series themselves. Looks like they might have beaten Carolina. So Carolina goes down too. Shout out to shout out the Canadians. Alright. Let's see how we fare against them. Game one is a 3-2 OT win for us. Love that. Game two, can we win? We can't. We lose 4-2. So it's 1-1, one, one, even series. We go down 2-1, losing 2-1. And we win game four. 
Can we win game five and go up 3-2? We can't. We lose an OT. So game six to try to force a game seven. And then maybe a bid for a conference finals or will our season end here? Our season will not end here. Thank you, EA, for not ending our season. So we are game seven. Do I want to quick sim it? I don't think so. Canucks won. They got a game seven. Toronto and Tampa Bay. Uh, do we quick sim it? No, we're going to sim past it. Screw it. Conference finals. Bring it to me. And that is exactly where we are going. Let's go. Conference finals. 5-4 OT win. Uh, we've got the Maple Leafs. There's your Western Conference. Oh, Maple Leafs. I think we they we lost them in the second round in our first season. So now we're in the conference finals against them. We lose game one, 5-2. Ben Shrim's coming back, which is cool. Game two is an OT win. So it's 1-1. Can we go up 2-1 in the series? We can't. Uh, our loss has been pretty bad this series. We do win game four. Can we win game five? We don't. All right, game six. Can we force a game seven? Uh, Canucks are already in the uh, Stanley Cup. So game six, we'll sim to the day. Uh, we'll sim it. We'll sim it. We'll sim it. Why not? And Boo Jenner's hurt. Love it. Absolutely love it. We're going to quick sim it. See what happens. Power play. Can we score the first goal? Probably not. Oh, yeah, Ben Shrimp's good to go. Okay, 1-0 us. Beautiful. Uh, we could jump to this period if we really wanted to. I think I'll do that just for these games. Um, yeah, we'll do that. Period seems complete. Of course, they tie up the game. Typical, typical EA. Love it. Um, all right, it's period number two. We'll sim it. Oh, I just saw we got a goal. Two goals. Mr. Fowdy, Mr. Johnson, love it. Three to one. Let's finish the game. Please force a game. Yep, force four to one. We got the W. Force in game seven. Line A with the extra goal on top. So here we go. Game seven to try to go to the Stanley Cup in our third season would be pretty insane. We could sim, and I think I will do that. So we'll sim the game here. Uh, but we'll just go period by period, uh, maybe until the fourth quarter, uh, third period, and see what happens. Uh, so we'll sim period here. Period sims complete. Nothing. All right. We'll sim again. We'll period sim it. It's tied 1-1. Okay. Rodro so got a goal. We were up 1-0, but the Nylander scores. So it's now 1-1. And we're going to try to finish it off here. We're going as fast as we can. 1-1 here, game seven. Love to get a goal here to get to the, to the Stanley Cup if we could win this game here. Can we do it, or will we go into OT? I can't watch an OT because I, I, I hate OTs, man. I hate them, especially in the sim because you know some bullshit rooney is going to happen. And there we go. Some bullshit rooney Guys, I got to close my eyes. I can't look at this. So here we go. We're just going to do this just like that. And I'm not looking. I'm not looking. I want to see a game. I want to see the win. All right, game's over. Sim is complete. Did we win? Of course not. Mitchell Marner, fucking goal. Nice. I told you. We always lose in we always lose an OT in the Sims game seven. We were one game away from Stanley Cup. We got one more season. One more season to get the Blue Jackets there. Ah, you hate to lose. Game 7 to the friggin' Maple Leafs. All right, well, let's see who ends up winning the Stanley Cup. And then go on to our fourth and final season. And the boys ended up winning the Stanley Cup. I mean, you hate to see it, but at least we ended up losing to the eventual Stanley Cup champs, which I guess is fine. We had, like, half of our... All right, we had a few guys scratched, so it looks like it's probably from injuries. I mean, why would Severson be scratched? You know what I mean? So, I don't know how, what they did. They, 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 won, they won in the six. Okay. Could have been us. Could have been us. Would have been great if it was us, but unfortunately not. So, there are the awards. In case you guys are curious, team awards, individual awards. Vetchkin, Islander 1 1, Maker 1 1, Kuznetsov, Gwensu, Matthew, Samsonov, Elbiuk, Alexiak, Beniers. All right, uh, playoff stats, in case you guys are curious to see, 
quickly glance at this. Uh, Gaudreau, our lead point totaler in the playoffs with 20. Um, how, is our, how are our goalies in the playoffs? That's what I really want to see. I mean, Tarasov only played two games, but he was amazing in the two games he played. And honestly, Jake was pretty solid for the most part. Uh, so cool, cool. All right, let's go on to the off season. Skim past the draft because it didn't really matter. So re-sign phase. Um, would like to re-sign Anderson. Uh, Victor Line would like to re-sign. A lot of cap room. Johnson, qualifier, but we're going to have to have to keep him. Yeah, Boquist, qualifier. I mean, a lot of these guys would like to keep Jenner. Wouldn't mind keeping. So, yeah, we'll offer some contracts. See if we can get some of these guys back in our squad. And go on from there. I mean, I would like to bring back the team. Might as well. All right. Resigned uh, Urho on the team. Anderson resigned after trading for him, which is perfect. Boone wants to test. Uh, Line A got him back, which is good. Bemstrom got, and then we offered a bunch of guys. Tarasov as well. So, uh, Foudy resigned. Texier got all these guys back. So, when Hound free agency, I mean, there's going to be a few guys we might need to get back. So, like Boone Jenner, we'll offer him. We'll see who's out there in the market. Try to add some really good talent to the team, too. If there's anybody out there, that is. So unfortunately, I lost it on Boone Jenner. But I did get ourselves a replacement in Adrian. So Adrian Kempe got him. He's going to be our new signing, uh, new center, left winger, uh, superstar X Factor. I mean, I guess we swap Boone for Adrian, which is fine. The final season, I'm going to show you guys the lines since this is where I, I think I like showing the roster better from the lines. Uh, so yeah, Godreau, Johnson, and Line A. That's a really good top line. I did add, adjust a little bit, switch Chidikov to Tom Sino. So I feel like our offense is really good. Zucker. Kempe, uh, Jordan's here, Tomasino, Carlson, Texier, Cylinder, Bemstrom, Jinnikov. It's pretty good. Now, defensively, it's not the best chem here. Jurchek and Lunkist. If I can do a movement here, it would be great. But um, not quite. Now, the problem is with Severson, um, is there anybody I could swap here? So I could swap Jurchek. For like Spozel or or even like Urho, and then we swap. Yeah, Jurchek here, that does fit our line a little bit better. Um, let me see here. Yeah, see that doesn't really do much for me. So I think we keep that like that. I think that. Uh, that way there's no line chem uh we could try to trade like i said for maybe another defenseman i think i'll look just because i kind of want to upgrade that so i'm gonna see what's out there in the market and then we'll maybe simulate from there all right i think i'm gonna hold off on making a trade for now i'm just gonna simulate a bit if i need to make a trade i'm gonna see if we can get back book fist if he wants to accept his offer but i don't think he will i didn't have enough really money that he was asking for but we'll see what happens in our fourth and final season we can get him back if not then i'll try to look to make a trade at some point during the season for that ea cheese in the sim i mean we were on top of our uh you know division for a very good amount of time but we're second right now 61 points 29 19 33 so 29 19 3 is pretty good i didn't end up making any trades i don't think i will i think we're good i think we're set just stay healthy and we should be solid and make the playoffs again uh you want to 55 points lead the team's got 27 goals 28 assists so i'm sure both of those stats lead actually no they don't lead the team it's Kent bay he's got 28 line a with 20 goals 25 assists uh you can see the total points there so yeah most of our guys have been good ken Jones just seems to get hurt like crazy i don't know why but it's unfortunate to say now, how are our, our defensive stats looking here? So, like, your hits, block shots. Uh, 99 hits from Adrian. Zach Wierenski's got 92, 88 from Zucker, 82 from Anderson. And he's got 69, which is nice. Block shots, 80 from Zach Wierenski. Love that. 70 from both kids. Uh, 67 from Anderson. jurchek has got 52. Provorov, 44, 32 from Severson. How are takeaways looking? 65 from Gondro, 62 from Zuck, Ken Johnson with 49, so Jordan, he's got 49 as well. 
Good thing from William Carlson. So not bad. Now our goalies, we've got Jay Gunder has been okay. I mean, a good record, but the goals against average 2.2 well. 2.78 from Tarasov off the bench as our backup. I mean, if you look at the team stats, I do think we have been a pretty good team. Mainly, mainly because, uh, where is our scoring? Probably middle of the pack. What do we got? Goals four per game. 3.12. Uh, we're about av we're about slightly average-ish on both categories. Yeah, yeah, middle of middle middle-ish team, but we're good. We're doing well. Uh, I mean, we could look for trades, but honestly, it's it's not like too bad. But I mean, yeah, we we could make one more trade. Might as well if we have the space to do it. If we could acquire like a really good player, it would wouldn't hurt to do so. All right, I traded for Pionk and Barlow from the Jets. I traded away D, uh, Diets and as well as Severson and two first-round picks with the Jets to give us ourselves, you know, some improvement on the defensive side. I mean, Severson just kind of getting hurt. New quality player, but we got a quality player in return. So I do think overall that should help us out. I mean, we'll maybe have to play around the lines a little bit. And um, you can see the offense looks pretty good. Barlow is there as well Colby Barlow uh we could we could do a switch maybe I don't know hmm. Memstrom could play can you play right winger Chinnikov Chinnikov play left and then have him be the center and then do that beautiful love that 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 looks good to me and then defensively I mean it's still not Chem is still not great, but uh, it'll work. All right, I'll see you guys at the end of the season. All right, so we ended up making the playoffs. I had 102 points. So this is our best season so far in the regular season, which might jinx us. But we're at 28-6 versus the Detroit Red Wings. I mean, they were 47-35. They're a pretty solid team. Let's look at the stats here really quickly. Team stats, player stats. Z had 94 points lead the team, 51 assists. He had 43 goals, line at 41, also 41 assists, uh, which is pretty good. I mean, and for the most part, everybody was healthy. That's what I'm trying to think. Except for Johnson. I mean, Ted Johnson, once again, scratched. I, I don't understand why he continues to... I don't know how he continues to find himself getting scratched. I, I don't get it. But that's just me. You got your, give, uh, you got your hits, block shots. You got two, uh, three guys at least. 100 block shots six guys right here in terms of total hits and triple digits i mean yeah we were good obviously goalies jay godinger 3.15 goals against average 30.18.2 tear ourselves a backup solid it's not bad team stats where were we ranked in the entire league entire league we were the seventh best team so it didn't clinch the conference or anything of that nature but we're still good 3.37 goals for, 3.07 goals against. So 3.37 goals for is uh, not too badly ranked. I mean, that looks like it's top half league potentially. And then uh, 3.07 goals against. And that's pretty good. So we'll take it. All right. So here's the playoff tree. In case you guys are curious, Red Wings versus us. Trying to get back to the conference finals. Very minimum. I don't know if we will. We were right there. We were right there. So, three out of the four seasons making the playoffs, not too bad. But want to try to advance past the Red Wings. So, can we do that? Game one's an OT loss. Okay. Game two is another loss. We're down 2 0. We've been down 2 0 before. Gotta win game three. We do. So, it's 2 1. Can we win game four? Get a little momentum going. We can. So, it's 2 2. Game five is pretty big. And we do win it, and let's win in six and advance to the second round. Yes, beautiful. We like playing down, so 2-0. And, of course, Mr. Line A gets hurt. Hopefully he comes back. I don't know how bad the injury is, but, man, we just can't seem to catch a break with these damn injuries. So now i got Carolina. So it looks like they beat the Rangers. That's what it looks like. I think that's who they played against. Uh, okay. So there you go. Let's see. Game one, Carolina is a win for us. Game number two is a win for us. We're up 2-0. Can we go up 3-0 against Carolina? 
we can't lose no 1-0 in OT. Uh, all right, Bemstrom comes back, and we're now down 2-2. Two, two. Now we're down, now it's tied 2-2. Two, two. Now we're down 3-2. Terrible game, 8-2. What's going on? What's going on? All right, we gotta see, the, we gotta see what's happening here. What, what, what are our lines looking like? Because I need to see these lines. Uh, we got scratches galore, it looks like. I mean, no, nah, everybody seems okay. Well, obviously Ken Johnson's not here. Is he just not here because? Yeah, no, he's just not here because he's hurt. Okay. All right. Well, a game six. Got to be able to beat Carolina. I would like to not lose four straight, but it's looking like we're going to lose four straight. And okay, we don't. So we're game seven. We could sim it. We could sim it. We could we could go period by period. I'm not gonna do the you know the full sim because it's not like. I mean yeah this could be the video right here but we'll sim the period. We go up one zero with the uh, Adrian goal, which is perfect. Period two, looks like they tied it. Of course, of course, of course they tie it. Typical. All right. Well, if it goes to OT, you know what's happening. So they got to, oh, they're going to score here. Five went through power play. They don't. Great D. Surprised they didn't. We don't, we have so much less shots than they do, which sometimes scares me. Please don't go to OT. Oh, we're going to lose 2-1. Okay. Oh! Benstrom, let's friggin' go. He's been clutch. All right, well, now we're going to T. So please, please win. Now the fact we got on OT. Let's, let's see if that happens. Will it happen? I'm not looking. I don't know, because every time I look, I get Ajita. Is it over? No, it's not over. It's not over yet. Going to a shootout, maybe? Okay, we're going to a shootout, or another OT, something like that. See what happens. I'm not looking. Did we win? Nope. Typical! Typical! I knew it. I told you. Irvine gets the goal. Alright. I knew it. I, I knew OT. I mean, we're losing to a... Losing to shootout. Was it shootout? Yeah. Oh, no. OT. Sorry. Not shootout. Second OT we lost in. I don't know why I said shootout. Ah, uh, it's playoffs. Duh. I mean, again, Ken Johnson being hurt sucks. Maybe that's different outcome if he's not hurt. But literally, the dude's been hurt this entire video. <sighs> At some point, one or another. Okay, I mean, listen, we got three good seasons. We had one bad second season somehow. I don't know what happened there, but I think it's because, like, half the team was injured that year. So when we didn't have injuries, I mean, we, we definitely overperformed in the first season. I thought the team was going to be really bad, but we weren't, which is good. Um... But just couldn't couldn't put together. We were one game away for the Stanley Cup. Who knows what would have happened. But, I mean, overall, solid. Solid team. You know that. They did pretty decent. I guess on that note, uh, we'll see who wins the Stanley Cup. Look at the awards and then go on to the full. Beavers win the Stanley Cup. Wow. Impressive indeed. I'm trying to stop the Sims so you guys can see the awards. In case you are curious to see the awards for the fourth and final season. Sabres, Avalanche, Blackhawks, and Sabres. <clears throat> McDavid winning a few awards. Kale just won, wins that award again. Bash Naho, Lady Bing, Ingrid getting called a memorial. Thompson. We got Knight getting the uh, the Xena. Wallstead's gonna get the Jennings. Lawson. Barkov getting there. McDavid getting the Ted Lindsay. Kucherov. All right, cool. All right, all that being said, full screen to close the video. All right, guys, well, hope you enjoyed. If you did, like, subscribe, comment on those videos, go to socials, play a second channel, main channel down in the description if you like other content, DJP. So, yeah, I know I messed up on the release of NHL. I'm trying to catch up, you know, at some point with the videos. I mean, I'm almost done with Madden, so Madden will kind of take a backseat. We'll still throw in some NBA. We'll still throw in some, you know, EA Sports FC. But, yeah, we'll try to get more NHL out there, especially since the regular season's literally started. So, um yeah i've got to get that out so not bad on that part uh but next video at least for nhl will be the ducks 
because they have 58 points. So that's how we're doing it. We're going based on points, and then once we get to the playoff teams, we do about where, you know, they standings-wise, or I guess points-wise, and then elimination. So you could be the best team, get eliminated, and we do you first. That's just how it works, right? With that being said, I'm going to head on out for now. Take care, everybody. We'll see you soon. Peace.